Welcome to this short little video here on uh, how to effectively research and uh, evaluate uh, potential deals or tax deed deals uh, using one auction provider uh, called Bid for Assets. Uh, right now, uh, we've got Washington that does have uh, a couple counties coming up here toward the end of the year that are having some online tax sales. And in fact, right now, uh, they have uh, one county specifically that uh, is doing a reoffer sale, uh, which is a way for the county to collect any uh, delinquent uh, property tax revenue by offering the properties again for a second time uh, if they didn't uh, sell at the first sale. So uh, really quick here, what you're looking at is bidforassets.com. Again, this is one auction provider of about four or five uh, in the entire country that will uh, act as a uh, provider or an auction provider uh, for counties. Now in bidforassets.com, there's a lot of different uh, great ways to find good deals but today what we're going to focus on uh, is this section right here that says county tax sales so the first thing i want you to do once you come to bidforassets.com uh, let's focus uh, today anyways on the county tax sales so click on county tax sales i've had a few requests uh, for this video uh, this one does go out to uh, to berna so berna here you go uh, i wanted to show you guys this in live time what you're looking at over here on the right hand side is what uh, is called an auction calendar uh, great little resource for you. Again, uh, this doesn't include every county in the country, uh, but it is one great place to start uh, as a way to start getting familiar with online tax sales and how to purchase property uh, using their online auction platform. Uh, what we're going to do here is uh, what we're going to focus on today is where it says Pierce, Washington. This is Pierce County, Washington. You'll notice right here it says reoffer. Uh, like I mentioned before, reoffer is simply just the county trying to resell the properties for a second time. Uh, sometimes what happens, uh, especially using a platform such as Bid for Assets, uh, one of the nice things about Bid for Assets is that they do not require a deposit uh, in order for you to bid. In fact, you can bid as many times as you want. If you are the winning bidder, they expect the deposit and the funds to be secured within 24 hours, 24 to 48 hours uh, after the auction. Let's uh, go over here and we're going to click on Pierce County. Now, you'll notice that we've got Kitsap County, Washington coming up here on the, looks like 10th and 11th. We've also got Spokane coming up uh, January 6th and 7th, Thurston, Washington. We've got Kern, California, Riverside County, Clark, Washington, Lake, Imperial, Humboldt, Con uh, Contra Costa, and Yuba County, California. Um, if you have any questions on uh, how to decipher or you'll notice right here there's not a hyperlink attached to Kern County, California. Uh, if you need some help uh, acquiring those lists, if they're not available on uh, Bid for Assets just yet, all you need to do is visit TaxSaleInvestors.com and we'll get you guys set up with uh, the list service. Okay, uh, Let's click on Pierce County again, main reason why we're doing this. I want to show you how to decipher a list, how to get the list using Bid for Assets, but more importantly, how to effectively research how to find out if this is a good deal, um, you know, what key ingredients do we need in order to make an edu educated decision quickly. I think that's really the key ingredient come the end of the day, is how can I determine what's a good deal from a bad deal um, quickly? Because at the end of the day, no one likes to search tax sale lists all day long uh, unless you're me, which is a little weird, and B, uh, we want to get you guys straight to the money-making part of the business. So, uh, nice thing, really quick, let's kind of go over the platform here on Bid for Assets so you know what's what. Um, Right here we have Pierce County, Washington. Um, it's going to go through a little bit of the tax sale itself. This auction has started today, um, December 9th, 2013. It started at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time, which is 8.30 p.m. Um, Pacific Time. And it's going to end tomorrow, the 10th. And you'll sh I'll show you what it looks like once we have some active bids on these parcels. A little bit more information about the, the tax sale. If you want to get a hold of the, the county, the great resource for you click right here it's going to take you to the county's website and we're going to spend some time in the assessor section of Pierce County here in just a minute uh, like I mentioned before deposit requirements uh, deposit is not required to participate in the Pierce County tax sale which is nice okay go through some more of the mumble jumble letting you know the properties are sold as is you are physically getting a tax deed uh, once you purchase the tax deed at a tax sale now this is pretty important to talk about uh, not all tax sales are the same obviously in fact uh, most tax sales are different county to county regardless of the state um, but in this instance since we're dealing with Pierce County Washington and we know that Washington uh, is known as a tax deed state then we know that we're going to be purchasing property it's property acquisition. Now, if we were looking in a county such as maybe Maricopa County, Arizona, uh, which is a massive county, 
uh, for tax lien certificates uh, when we would attend an auction and D Maricopa by the way does do an online auction and they're gonna do their first batch come February so stay tuned we'll keep you updated on those when that uh, sales coming up tax lien certificate we're simply purchasing uh, the tax lien the county has placed on that property uh, so that we can actually get a return on our investment over a period of time uh, and that's a high rate return anywhere from you know 10 uh, Arizona 16 percent Jersey's 18 uh, percent Florida's 18 percent uh, but Florida's a dual state so don't want to confuse you too much let's jump into this here guys um, what you're looking at right here again we go to bidforassets.com remember click on the county tax sales we did that we clicked on Pierce Washington now we have the Pierce Washington County tax sale uh, section of bid for assets first place that I go uh, it's easier for me to research my properties this way uh, you'll see right here in this little red box it says general tax sale information it says county's terms of the sale you can go over those highly encourage you to do that by the way and then you can download the list in uh, a couple different ways you can download it in Excel you can download it in PDF or you can just go ahead and look at it on online where it says usually property list is updated now why would the list need to be updated uh, the answer to that question is simple. Um, primarily, most counties, such as bid for assets, we'd have to look into the county um, sale information to see how long the homeowner has to pay or redeem their taxes. But I do know that uh, some counties, most counties will give them up until the day of the auction or sometimes a day before the auction to step up and pay their property taxes. Uh, and so therefore, when a property or a homeowner pays their property taxes, obviously what's going to happen at that point is the county is going to take that property off of the docket and make it unavailable okay so let's click right here where it says property list updated okay so here we have the pierce county tax sale list right here how we found it again is we came in here where it has a little red box and i'll describe what these apns mean right here uh, as we go through this now check this out right here we've got the updated property parcel list of delinquent properties being sold for delinquent taxes um, and uh, again there's a few key pieces of in information that we need uh, in order for us to make an educated decision um, initially okay um, you'll see tax deeds all over the map as you can see right here in this specific county Pierce County Washington uh, this is a resale remember uh, we've got an opening bid on this one looks like at 92,000 uh, 8,200, 8,600, 4,200. You'll see opening bids uh, all across the map. But let's definitely take some time and uh, decipher these and go through these so we can kind of check it out and I'll show you what it looks like. Now, um, what I'm going to look for is I'm going to look for something that has a pretty decent opening bid that I know that potentially we could find a single family home on the property. Uh, again, this is all going to be contingent on your bank account, how much you have available to invest. So, again, uh, that's primarily number one according to your bank account number two is making sure that we're doing effective research on a property I looked at one earlier today that I thought was a good deal let's cruise down here just really quick and look at that the one parcel I was interested in I believe is now off the docket and it is folks shoot okay all right well let's check out this one right here the reason I'm gonna look for uh, a tax deed so this is the amount due as of August 1st uh, I guess it's important to kind of talk about the the columns <laughs> so you know know what we're dealing with here right here we've got the parcel number the parcel number and the parcel ID number is one key piece of information that we absolutely have to have in order for us to find the next key piece of information which is going to be the tax assessed value of the property now what we have here is the parcel number right here we have the taxpayer and or the owner's name we have the tax description don't get overwhelmed or confused by all that um, mumble jumble right here we don't spend a ton of time uh, going through that we have the site address okay this is another key piece of information that we absolutely have to have in order for us to make a decision on it and then looks like there could be associated mobile homes as well uh, you're gonna see the lien holders on the property right here uh, Dirk Mayberry on this this one specifically is the uh, the lien holder and then uh, you can kind of go through and then also we have the amount due as of August 1st now the amount due tentatively is going to be roughly what the opening bid is going to be it's not going to be exact um, but we'll be able to see that as we do our research so this is one way you can do it is by coming back over here 
uh, opening up the property list that's updated directly from the county and uh, going through one by one and kind of doing some research on each one of these parcels. Now I want to take one of these parcels. Let's see what we're working with here. Um, again, as you can see, you can do this from really any type of budget from a tax deed with an opening bid of 92000 uh, and then here's a tax deed with an opening bid of you know 8200 um, 8600 etc 4200 uh, you'll see them on all different levels and all different types of property as well it's not necessarily just uh, you know single family homes and or uh, buildable lots um, let's take a look at one of these ones right here we've got uh, no that's not giving us an exact address actually so let's go down a little bit all right, well, here's a property right here um, that has a $9,300 opening bid. Um, again, looks like this property's got a lot of lien holders, but let's check it out here. Let's uh, First step, number one, is to copy the parcel ID number. That's number one. So we want to copy the parcel ID number. If we have the parcel ID number, then we can do some county research on the property. Find out, A, if there's an improvement, and B, uh, what uh, what type of property this is. So once we have the county tax sale list, this is uh, step one, acquire the tax sale list. Step two is uh, knowing that we're using bid for assets and they're the ones holding the sale. They do make it easy for us to find that parcel being sold. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to take the parcel ID number right here. Um, parcel number, I think you guys can see that. Right there, parcel number, parcel ID number, come back over to bid for assets. If you can't tell, you're going to be doing quite a bit of copy and paste uh, as you do your research. But right here where it says APN number, back on the, the bid for assets website, it says APN number. Uh, this is the assessor's parcel number or parcel ID number. We're going to paste the ID number we pulled from our tax sale list. Uh, again, this is the property we're looking at. It has a, an opening bid of $9,300. Back over here to bid for assets. Uh, we're going to search by the parcel number and see what bid for assets pulls up for us. Okay. Now this parcel right here looks like it's got uh, a current bid at 13000 and it has five bids on the property. And this deal is going to close in 17 hours and 47 minutes. So let's click on the ID here and let's take a little bit more uh, time researching this parcel to see what we're working with. Again, you can see right here, it's got five bids on it. Right now, the current bid's at 13000 It had a $9,000 opening bid. Um, this is where you would actually enter in your uh, maximum bid. So if you purchased anything off of eBay, it really is just that simple. Uh, you know, again, in terms of the auto bid, that's going to be like a reserve bid, which is what eBay calls it. So in this specific property, after we do our research, we would determine a maximum bid. Now, the nice thing is this, is that you don't have to watch the auction for an entire 24 or 48 hours. All you have to do is put in your maximum bid, and anytime anybody bids against you, the system's going to automatically place that bid for and on behalf of you. And so again, or your entity's name or your business's name. So again, we'll, uh, we'll go through that. But I wanted to show you a live auction so that uh, we could go from here. Deposit requirements, again, there's no deposit, but we're wanting to check out this property to see what we're working with. And how, again, we got here is we went from our tax sale list. We found a property that had an opening bid of about 9300 bucks. We were able to grab the parcel number. That's how we do our research on this parcel. Come back here to bid for assets, and this is what we're working with. Now, on this parcel, again, confirm it's the same address, 18503 19th Street. 18503 19th Street. Perfect. Now, on this property, we're going to go down a little bit here. Here we go. Right here where it says item, specific, uh, item specifics, uh, our parcel information, our, our parcel number, it's the same one that we searched by. It gives us a little bit of a legal description. It's also going to give us the, uh, the address. Again, confirm that address is the same with the address on the top of the page. And this is the other key piece of information we needed to know, okay? The tax assessed value. At this point, I could care less what the uh, market value is on the property, uh, just because for right now, uh, for you know a tax sale basis, uh, one of the biggest standards we want to go off of is just tax assessed value because usually that's going to be anywhere between about 50 to 100 percent of what tax assessed value is. Now, is that going to be the same across the board? No, um, but it is a pretty good standard in this part of the country. 
So we do know that uh, this property has some improvements on it, meaning that the house on the property and or the building on the property has an improvement value of 75000 The land value is valued at right around 46000 So this property in and of itself has a total tax assessed value of 121300 Okay. Now, sometimes they'll give you a, a, a picture of the property right here. We still don't ever go off of that as a standard. Um, but the next logical step in researching these properties is copying the address and then obviously trying to come over to uh, Zillow is the next step. So step one is to uh, copy over the parcel ID number from the tax sale list on the specific uh, deal that we're interested in. We came back over to bid for assets. We used the uh, APN number uh, search function available on bid for assets. That's how we pulled up this parcel being sold with the current bid at 13,000. The next step is we want to do some uh, market analysis. We want to kind of see what's going on with our property. I uh, want to get some maybe as accurate pictures as we can because again, this is a game that you can play from all over the world as long as you have access to the internet, which is nice. So we copied the address from uh, our listing over at bid for assets uh, you can use Zillow you can use Trulia you can use homes.com uh, LoopNet there's a lot of different resources out there uh, I like Zillow for a few reasons uh, number one it pulls data um, on different levels um, from different uh, county records and also uh, market records and gives us what they call a zestimate on the property now I think this property right here did not give us a city and or a state um, so with that said, I know that I'm in Pierce County. I know that one of the biggest cities because of my research in Pierce County is Tacoma. So I'm going to guesstimate on the, uh, on the city uh, for this and or, I believe, Pierce County, Washington, has a title report for this property. It sure does. Look at that. Asset description, title report for the property. To view, click here. Let's check it out. Now, by the way, not every auction is going to provide you a title report. In fact, most don't. And so I think it's fantastic that uh, Bid for Assets does. So let's go over here. Let's take a look at the title report for this property located at 18503 19th Street. And the county pays for this, by the way. So on a title report, the main thing that we're going to want to look at uh, first, because I'm going to do a separate video for researching effectively uh, title reports to look for any inconsistencies and or any other liens or encumbrances we as the new property owner would be responsible for. So again, uh, we know the parcel number is the same. I just remember the 8,000 from the previous one. Uh, it's going to go through and kind of tell you a little bit about the title report itself. Um, I just wanted to see easements, covenants, conditions, none exist, record, recorded interest, none exist. I just wanted to see where our address was. So if you can't tell already, there's a little bit of uh, some research that goes into this. Now it looks like this one, yeah, that's right. Because again, guys, this is going to take me another half an hour for me to describe what's inside the title report. So the key ingredient, obviously, is to make sure that we have access to um, Okay, here we go. Here we go. So, uh, again, it's kind of uh, back and forth, but we have this address right here, 19th Street. Uh, I checked into the title report, which we found from the listing at Bid for Assets. Um, searched for about the same address. We know that this one is in, looks like, Lake Bay, Washington. So, let's come back over here to Zillow. We know that that's on the street. Um, Lake Bay, Washington. Let's see what that pulls up for us. Okay, cool. Here's our property. Um, it's going to tell you that it's not for sale, by the way. I mean, that's totally normal. That's totally normal. And look at this. It's going to tell you right here that it is for sale. Interesting. Zillow used to not pull uh, any of bid for assets information. Used to say not for sale. In fact, most of the time when you do your research, it will say not for sale. Uh, but on this one specifically, we know that it has a zestimate or a guesstimate of the market value on this property at 171000 Looks like this is a little one bed, one bath. Um, sold back in January of 1996 for 24000 So this is our listing here on Zillow. Again, we know the address, how we found the address for this property, guys. Remember, uh, let's not make this, you know, 
more difficult than it needs to be. Again, it's all contingent upon you know what you're working with. Uh, again, in terms of a bank account, and then also being able to implement a system and a structure. So no one wants to spend all day going through a county tax sale list. So again, I'm going to show you and I'm going to create a video uh, here in the next uh, couple days called uh, my 3x3 method, uh, which is a quick way for you to use what's called the quick look or the quick glance method. Um, but at the same time, it's also a way for you to effectively research these lists and spend enough time on each parcel so that we know uh, and we've done our proper due diligence. And again, the nice thing about Pierce County and bid for assets on this specific sale is that they are providing that title report for us. But we still want to know what's going on with the property. Uh, this is telling us it's a one bed, one bath uh, on one acre. Um, we can scroll down to the bottom of Zillow here. It's going to tell you the description of the tax sale uh, from bid for assets. Looks like, uh, you know, in the 30 day change, this property's gone up in value, 813 bucks. Um, it's got a pretty strong rent guesstimate right there for you if we can keep it filled. Uh, so again, it's all contingent on your, uh, your investor profile. Are you the type of investor that's uh, looking to uh, quick fliply to create that earned income or a lump sum transaction type of income? Or are you the investor who's looking to create cash flow? Those two parameters are going to determine the types of properties and the type of areas that we choose to invest in. Okay. Uh, price history, tax history, uh, monthly payment, don't worry about any of that. We just want to know what's going on in the area um, around this property. I want to kind of get some demographics. Okay, Looks like we've got a property right here. Um, let's check this one out. Oh, the, here's the house. It was a 3-2. Sold in uh, April 22nd for $140,000. Um, here is some land. It looks like 4.8 acres that are for sale for 60000 Okay, And uh, we're going to talk about how to contact a local real estate agent, uh, somebody in the area that could potentially go take some live pictures for us. But again, this is a property that is uh, currently up for sale. So again, we'd want to make sure that we had enough time. Uh, here's another neighboring house. It's got a Zestimate of it looks like 300,000 beds, four bed, uh, two bath. Great looking property. I definitely would spend some time uh, going through this one as well. I'd like to, here's our house right there. Booyah. So let's take a look at one more uh, parcel here and then I'll let you guys get on your way. Again, I wanted to show you just how to effectively research these. All right, guys. So uh, I didn't want to just keep dragging this out. You'll notice here on the tax sale list, I'm on page eight. I just cruised down through. Um, some of the parcels that were available. Found this one for us here. This one looks interesting to me. Um, I don't know why they've got half of the address X'd out. That's okay. I mean, all we'd have to do is just, you know, copy the parcel ID number and search it into bid for assets. Like I'm going to show you how to do one more time here. Wanted to go over just one more uh, parcel with you. So again, same thing here, guys. Again, remember we need three pieces of information for us to make an educated decision quickly. Number one, we need the parcel number. Number two, we need the property address. And number three, we need the uh, tentative opening bid on the property. And so to find this parcel for sale, I'm going to copy this parcel ID number right here. And I'm going to come over here to bid for assets. And I am going to do see if there's a search section right here. Nope, let's go back on bid for assets here. And we want to do a search by the main place here. So let's go back here, county tax sales, the main page. Let's click on Pierce County. Then let's come down here to the bottom a little bit, right there where it says by APN number, go ahead and paste it in there, and that's going to pull up the parcel that we're interested in. Oh, wait, what the heck? Okay. Did I not copy it correctly? Let's see. Go back. Okay. What that means is that that property has redeemed. That property is no longer available for sale on bid for assets. That's what that means. So again, it's interesting how it's the updated list. But that's how you would go through and uh, find the tax sales in bid for assets. Once again, let's start over so that you guys can see that. Again, I want to make these shorter, but uh, there's really no quick way to explain how to research these. Again, guys, bid for assets. Click on the county tax sales. 
Over here on the right hand side, we're going to have our auction calendar. It's going to tell us what counties in the country uh, bid for assets is going to have uh, sales for. We know that today, Pierce County, Washington is having a sale the 9th and the 10th. We know that uh, Kitsap, Washington is coming up on the 10th and the 11th. So for our example's sake, again, click on Pierce County, Washington, or whichever sale you're interested in. And let's check out some of these deals to see what's selling, what's not selling, what's moving, um, maybe what's getting some bites and what's not. Now, just so, again, remember, in the beginning of the video, we talked about clicking on the property list. That's updated. That's how we came across our tax sale list of properties that are being sold. Now, keep in mind, about 50% on an average of the properties you're interested in are going to disappear come the day of the sale. That is the name of the game. That can be frustrating, and it's also awesome for investors knowing that, you know, when we come prepared to a tax sale, because of the type of properties we're buying on a wholesale level, we want to come prepared with at least, you know, I'd say three to six properties per auction that we're interested in. Uh, you know, again, we spend time, we research properties effectively, we do what we do. So come the day of the sale, we want to make sure that we're, we're prepared so when those homeowners do redeem, which is only natural, which is going to happen, rather than going to the sale, and I can't tell you how many times I've worked with students where they get so excited, they get a little emotionally involved in one parcel or one property, come the day of the auction, the, the property is no longer available. So again, uh, if I could give you any word of wisdom at this point, uh, let's take the uh, motion out of it. Don't get hung up on just one parcel, uh, but do stay tuned. I'm going to create a series out of this uh, related to bid for assets, and then I'm also going to uh, create... Uh, a secondary video for real auction or what's called real tax deed or real tax lien.com. So again, if you haven't already, guys, highly encourage you to uh, visit taxsaleinvestors.com, which is our website. Uh, it's a great place to uh, not only get tax sale lists, uh, the most up-to-date tax sale news, but it's also a great way for you to uh, get the tax um, sale auction calendar for every county in the country, not just the online ones. Um, but again, guys, again, my name is Skyler here with TaxSaleInvestors.com. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 855-44-TAXSAL. Again, that's 855-44-TAXSAL. And again, this is the uh, Bid for Assets training, uh, live training for Pierce County, Washington. Uh, before we take off here, let's see, uh, so you guys know what's this. Uh, these are what's called groups, okay? The Bid for Assets is going to start each group uh, at 15 minutes apart, so they're going to close all 15 minutes apart. But if you click on this little triangle, sideways triangle, right next to that group, it's going to show you uh, what is selling and what's not. Uh, here's that one we looked at that had an opening bid of 13000 Here's one that has an opening bid of five. Let's check this one out. Looks like this property has a tax assessed value of 33300 the land valued at uh, 28000 and the improvements about 5000 Quick Lance method looking at that, that shows me the land is obviously worth more than the house and or the little shack that's on it. This could also be a tentative mobile home. And we wouldn't know that until we looked into the title report. Uh, but again, guys, this is how to effectively research uh, parcels or available parcels on bidforassets.com. Again, if you have questions, give us a call, 855, that's toll free, 855-44-TAXSALE or visit us on Facebook. Facebook forward slash uh, tax sale investors or um, just go to our website at tax sale investors.com. Again, look forward to working with each and every one of you. Uh, please be active, have fun with this, and again, uh, I wish you guys the best of luck. Talk to you soon.